I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I want to invite you to see and spend the day with me why I'm deciding to do another day in my life. In this case, we'll be as a software engineering manager, working remote in a minimal setup and in a day that is definitely not the norm. It's actually out of ordinary days and why that's different. So. What can I expect to see in this video is that it's the week of virtual Grace Harbor Celebration Conference 2021. So I'm attending that. Um, besides that, I'm working in, as I mentioned, in a different environment. That's, I will show you my super minimal <laughs> setup, programming setup that I have here or work setup that I have working from home. And another thing is that there are events at work um, this month um, that we are doing to celebrate Hispanic heritage. And um, we have events such as cooking, uh, painting and sip or mixology. So those are the things that we are going to see some of those things in my video today. So you will see that there are a lot of different activities, not so much of actually work, but in between I'll be squeezing in some work. So right now I will really quickly switch the view here to show you my minimal setup. I have a travel chair there. I have um, my laptop, my MacBook Pro there that is prompted uh, on, <laughs> on a box of Kleenex. I have my tablet there, which is in a Logi um, case, which I really like. And on the other side, I have my laptop. And I, as you can see, I'm working from my yoga mat. Oh, the thing that I really, really, really like is the view. What is the structure today? I had run in the morning. That's one of the days I'm running. I'm alternating one day I'm going for walks and I'm listening to an audiobook. Um, or I am running and when I'm running, I'm listening to music. So right now I'm listening on Audible, The Hard Things About The Hard Things. And it's a really good book. Previously, I listened to uh, Leadership and Strategy by, by Jack O'Willing. So right now I'll be joining my team stand up uh, to make sure that um, everything is going well, like what was done so far, what are the plans for the day, any roadblocks and stuff like that. I will attend some Grace Hopper events. But the reality also is today there is an AWS workshop that I want to attend. It's actually hands-on and stuff like that. And I will probably spend that time to, to learn and dive deeper into AWS. And Grace Conference, um, the good thing is that I have the premium membership that was um, together with the registration for the event. Everything is being recorded so I can watch that afterwards. So that way I don't miss this workshop, um, an opportunity to, to dive deeper in AWS services, learn serverless and stuff like that. And uh, when I want to see the Grace Hopper conference, I can go to the recordings. So enough with a lot of talking, let's get into today. We started at 6.30. I actually wanted to wake up way, way earlier, but for whatever reason, when I went to bed yesterday, my brain won't just shut off and I turned and twisted for probably three, four hours thinking about the next projects I want to do, the progress about projects at work, my personal projects and so many other things. And so my brain just like kept on going and going and going. A couple of times I actually got up, went to my tablet, took notes so I won't forget them. 
weekend I just uh, attended a few of Grace Hopper sessions. I actually listened to our vice president, her view on women in tech and all that other things and a few other sessions. And now it's about the time when the AWS uh, workshop is starting so that's what I will be switching and doing and the workshop starts from it's from 9 to I think 1 p.m. so that's kind of what I will be doing for that extended period so I'll be um, adding some more knowledge about AWS watching this video you may think that all day I didn't do anything and I just did the conference and then I did the event. In reality the goal for the day was to solve one of the biggest problems that we had that was a result of fixing one problem. So it's interesting like there's this meme that 97 errors or bugs to fix, one fixed push to production and 129 bucks to remain to fix right so if i find it i'll add it here so that's kind of the situation that it was for me today um yesterday um data science we're actually data engineering made a change that fixed a problem that we were trying to diagnose for the longest time finally they pushed the fix um it was not 100 percent accurate um uh, which caused some major issues for other teams. But long story short, the fix one problem, uh, which resulted in surfacing the other issues that we had. So other team suddenly had issues and they were no longer able to perform their projects or do what they were needed to do. And that because they were relying on something that um, should not be used. So if I were to give a high level, um, looking at when the record was created versus when um, something uh, was submitted, let's say, um, because once something is created, is not indication when a product was sold or something like that, because there might be uh, holdups, backup and stuff like that. So long story short, we got together uh, data science, data engineering, our telephony team, and some other engineers all together trying to brainstorm how do we fix this as soon as possible, trying to see if we can, okay, we cannot rely on that field anymore. What are the alternatives? What can we do? And we were brainstorming, trying to put, to put together uh, pieces and kind of try to solve it. And the reality then we stop and say, hey, wait a minute, it looks like we are trying just to fit the square into a circle probably we need to take a step back and figure out uh, if there's a need for schema changes and us to start recording additional information that will help us with our issue. Um, so we stopped with further investigation to see what needs to be done and we'll have to figure out at that tomorrow we'll, we'll know the answer. Well, thank you for watching this video until then. I hope you found some um, entertaining in this video. And yeah, don't get discouraged when you see um, that your work days are not the same. As I said, this is not 
my normal uh, work days as I said in other videos I actually overwork and I have a lot like days where I work 12 14 hours with a lot of things that need to be done and this day it's actually the opposite where I carved out the time to attend the conferences to attend the events at work to um, build uh, that team building uh, relationships and stuff like that and uh, learn new skills um, so yeah it's it's I would say it's an outlier type of the day but that was my day in the life of a software engineering manager and I would say it's a fun edition so um, I'm Anna and see you in the next video bye bye